What's going on, guys? I have a multi part tutorial on music organization for DJs. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the coding system that I use. Uh, this is a very powerful tool that uh, changes the way that I looked at uh, music organization completely, and I use it every day. And it allows me to have a flexible and fast way to find the exact song that I'm looking for or find songs that are similar to the one I'm playing very quickly uh, with just a few strokes of the keyboard and just a few words I'm able to locate the perfect song at the perfect time. So the coding system like I mentioned earlier is a series of tags that you can add to an uh, ID3 tag field. For me I use the comment section uh, just it's a big section in the uh, ID3 tags um, that's not used for a lot, at least for me personally, before uh, I found this coding system. So let's take a look at what some of my codes would look like. So if I scroll down, you'll see that I have five uh, codes for this song. The first three right here all pertain to the genre of the track. So for all of my dance music, um, it's an, I have an overall tag of DNC, which is short for dance. Uh, the next tag right here is the bass tag, which I have for all of my more bass heavy uh, dance music, such as dubstep or trap or twerk. Uh, next, I have that niche down even more to trap as a tag because this um, is more of a trap tempo, 70 BPM or 140 BPM. The next tag I have is this RMX tag, which signifies that this song is a remix of an original song. Uh, as you can see, this is the Flosher Domus remix of a Post Malone song. The next tag is a uh, tag party, which I use as a uh, overall tag for songs that I play in an open format set, um, more of a primetime open format set uh, that gets more of a reaction and songs that people are familiar with and uh, more popular songs in an open format set. So you'll notice uh, that each of these tags begins and ends with a bracket. This is very important for the coding system. What this does is this allows you to um, use the search function in iTunes or your uh, DJ software of choice to uh, locate the tags. Now, one uh, very important part of this is that you have to choose a type of uh, special character that is not used anywhere else in any of your other ID3 tags. So for, for me, I use the brackets because as you can see right here, I use parentheses for stuff like signifying a dirty or clean edit or um, stuff like uh, transitions or in other parts of my ID3 tags, I use parentheses so I could not use them in the, um, the coding system. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So for instance, if I typed in just DNC, not only will I get all these uh, tags, but any song that has DNC in any of the other uh, tags uh, will show up. Let me actually use a better example. So if I use the word party, you'll see that this track by Party Next Door comes up, but it's not tagged uh, as a party track. But if I start that with a bracket, then type in party, only the songs with that pertaining tag will show up. This is very important because this is where the power of the, the coding system really comes in into play. So for instance, I can niche it down even more and say, well, I need a dance song with uh, bass heavy. And now I have all of these songs with just two quick, uh, two quick codes and I have access to all of these <clears throat> without having to go through any of my playlists, which is great in a, a setting where you have to make a very quick decision on the next song you're going to play. That also brings up <clears throat> another important uh, fact that uh, instead of using playlists such as these, the coding system allows a kind of live updating smart playlist. So for instance, if I add a, if I have a, a song, let's just add uh, this new DJ Khaled song and I go ahead and add the party tag to it automatically without having to do anything uh, adding it to any of the playlists if I type in party this song is automatically added to the quote unquote uh, party uh, smart playlist so that's really nice to have you don't have to worry about 
throwing your songs um, into certain crates or playlists when you add them to your library. Just add a tag uh, once and be done with it and you'll always be able to find those songs. Uh, you just have to remember which e what each tag stands for. Um, I would recommend creating a list maybe in like a Google Doc or Word where you just have a master list of which you know which uh, what each tag signifies or stands for. So let me go over some ideas for tags. So I mentioned my uh, dance uh, genre tag. I also have uh, genre tags for hip hop. So uh, with hip hop, each region of the United States has their own kind of sound and um, those songs in an open format set tend to work together really well. So what I, I do, I besides having hip hop as the genre right here, I'll have a tag for each uh, region. So if I type in uh, bracket LA, this is all of my West Coast music. This is all of my uh, West Coast hip hop, I should say. <clears throat> Be it from the Bay Area or uh, Los Angeles. If I type in New York, this is all my East Coast hip hop music. And of course, ATL for uh, the South. So any, any Atlanta or Texas or Louisiana uh, type music will show up here. Now, this will come in handy, for instance, if I'm, say, I'm looking for a New York song, but a more recent uh, open format party song. I type in these two tags, and now not only do I have all of my party music, but specifically the music that works within that region. So I could go from, say, like, Notorious B.I.G. to Jay-Z really quickly without having to search through a bunch of playlists. It's all right there at my fingertips. Another tag that I, I use a lot is... Um, my transition tags. So I use transition tracks to jump from BPM to BPM. Uh, without having without having that tag, I would have to search through um, the song title where the, it would have like the BPMs or the word transition in it. So what I do is I just have trans U for a transition up, or I'm sorry, trans U for a transition up, or trans D for a transition down. So quickly, I can just pull up all my transition tracks, and I could just go ahead and uh, sort by by name right here, and figure out which BPM I'm at and which BPM I I'm trying to go to. Another um, another or another code that I use is uh, clean, which I put on all of my clean edits of music. So say I'm playing a, a gig at a school or somewhere that I have to play um, all clean edits. This allows me to just go ahead and find all my clean music and then from there I can niche it down even further and say I want to play like a, a LA party song that's still clean. Here's all those songs niched down with just three tags instead of having to dig through all those playlists. <clears throat> These tags have really changed the way I, I look at my music and the way I organize. It just allows for a very quick way to just find the kind of song that I'm looking for, uh, especially if I don't know exactly what song I want to play, but I have an idea of the vibe I'm going for. I can just type in a couple tags and get an idea of like just different songs that might fit, that I've already um, identified as fitting that kind of vibe that I'm looking for, and just go straight in and uh, select those songs. Um, this is, like I said, this is super powerful, and this is like the first level of organization that I use in um, my organization method, but this is still the, the cornerstone and the most important. Um, coming up with a tagging system that works for you um, can be super powerful and is super easy to do. Um, and the one way to make that even faster is to use uh, Doug scripts or Apple scripts. So for instance, I can select multiple songs, edit them, if I was to use uh, the normal way to edit your tags. If I make one change here, all of these tags will change. Um, and I would lose all the tag information that I already added. But with the use of Apple scripts, I can use this one right here, append to select a tag. Give it one second. And now what this allows me to do is just keep on adding tags to the end of uh, the field, which I have selected right here as comments. So I don't erase the tag information that I already have. I can just keep adding on to it, which allows me to add tags to multiple songs without worrying about destroying the tag information that I already have. This is a very important tool to 
uh, my system and I'll go ahead and add a, a link in the description below on how to add this to your iTunes. This is a, a free to use tool, free to use addition to your iTunes. They do have a donation, um, a donation method where if you do find this useful, you can go ahead and just uh, shoot them as much money as you like to, to pay for this and help kind of support them. And I would suggest that because this is very powerful and it's become immensely useful and has totally changed uh, the way I use uh, iTunes and the way I tag my songs. It's sped up the process tremendously. So again, uh, this is my coding system that I use. Uh, originally, I found this on uh, the forums uh, by a member called Six from twolegalaliens.com. Um, I've changed it a little bit and just made it work for me. Um, he uses the tags in the um, track name. I moved them out of the comments just because I like keeping the uh, track name and artist a little cleaner. Um, but that highlights another, the, the same thing that this is, this system is completely flexible. And as long as you uh, follow the few rules of just having a special character um, at the beginning of your tag, as well as just spacing them out like this, um, the tag system will work perfectly. And it just allows you to make the system as deep or as broad as you'd like. Uh, I would suggest starting out broad with just some, maybe a couple of genre tags. And then as you get comfortable using it and using it with the search function, uh, start niching it down and adding more tags uh, to your arsenal using the um, Doug scripts here, which makes it really easy to add the tags very quickly. Um, again, this is the first part of a multi-part tutorial. Next, we'll get into um, combining this tagging system with smart playlists, which makes this an even more powerful system. So again, this is PDOT. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please go ahead and um, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. And be sure to check next week when I add the next video in this tutorial series of music organization. Once again, this is PDOT. Peace.